Hi again, welcome to another library yoga session. My name is Chelsea and I am both a librarian and a yoga instructor here at Brock. We have reached the final stretch of the term, pun intended, and this is our final library yoga session to help us unwind as we prepare for the end of the term and maybe final exams and papers that we have coming along the way. So the focus of today's session will be sort of finding relief from that stressed, maybe cramped sort of study existence that we have these days. We're gonna to try to invite ourselves to take up a lot of space, find some softness and find some gladness and some celebration for the day. So we'll start by sitting, standing, um, either on the floor, a chair or whatever space you're in. And we'll take a moment just to lengthen up through the spine. We already start by taking up some space here, nice and tall, and tuning our attention inwards. So you can close your eyes or maybe soften your gaze down towards the floor. And just start by noticing how you're feeling right off the bat, right at the start, feeling your body settle into whatever posture you've taken. Noticing if there are any areas that are really gripping, tense, tight. Maybe if there are any small movements you can make to get a little more comfortable, maybe soften the shoulders down. And then from the body, I invite you to bring your attention to your breath. Just observing how it feels, where you're feeling it the most, maybe in the belly or the chest, maybe in and out through the nose. And notice the quality of the breath. This is something we often tune out when we're really focused on our work in the moment, but observe if your breath is fast, slow, deep, or shallow. Not trying to change it, just observing where it's at right now. And as we focus on the breath, notice where your thoughts start to run off to. Notice if you start thinking ahead, if you start ruminating on things that are already past, and observe any strong feelings that might be attached. Again, no judgment, just observing, gaining some awareness, and then we'll bring the attention back to the breath Starting to deepen that breath now, breathing down into the belly, feeling it expand, continuing to fill the lungs, feeling the chest, even the side ribs, maybe even imagine you can feel your back expanding as you inhale, all the way up through to the top of the chest. And with a big long out breath, you can sigh it out, feeling everything soften and sink down. Take a couple more breaths like that, Breathing deep down into the belly, feeling the whole torso expand from all directions, the front and the back, the sides, as you fill the lungs all the way up. And exhale with a sigh, let it all go. One more time, inhale, feel the whole body expand in every direction. And exhale, let it go. And allow yourself to sit here, maybe raising the corners of your mouth. Take a moment just to think of one thing, one thing only, that has brought you a little bit of joy today. Maybe you had a really great cup of coffee. Maybe you're just really pleased with the weather today. Just find that one thing, one thing that brought you joy. And notice where you feel that joy. Try to breathe into that space. 
and start to feel that expansive breath carrying the joy through all of you. We'll take one more deep breath in here, feeling the joy, feeling a great big smile on the face, and we'll sigh it out and open up our eyes. Awesome. We'll start by taking the arms nice and wide. We're gonna be taking up a lot of space today, inhaling as we take the arms all the way up, and exhale, we circle them back down. We're gonna do two more like that. Inhale, reaching the arms wide all the way up, maybe even taking the gaze up if it feels good, and exhale, take the arms down. One more time, inhale, we take the arms all the way up, lift up out of the waist, and this time bring the right hand down, but keep the left arm raised. Bring that right hand either to your seat or maybe the side of your leg, so you can arc over towards the right side. Keeping the chest rotating up, lengthening through the side body. If you'd like to take this a little bit deeper if you're seated, you can cross your hand over to the outside of your left thigh, just to lean a little bit farther. Really feel that space that you're cultivating. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, come on up, bring that arm down. Maybe pause for a moment, roll the shoulders. And then with a big breath in, we reach the arms wide to take them up again. And as we exhale, this time we take the left hand down and we arc over towards the left, reaching nice and long with that right arm. Maybe if you're seated, you cross the arm over the body to come a little deeper, but there's no necessity to do so. The stretch will feel different in different bodies and require slightly different things. Find what works for you today. Take one more inhale. And exhale, we come on up, bringing that arm all the way down. Again, you can roll the shoulders a little bit if it would feel good here. And then we'll make our way into a twist. So we'll start by lengthening up through the spine, and I'll show you variations for standing and for seated. For seated, we're gonna start by taking the left hand over to the outside of the right leg, maybe the right knee or the thigh, and bring the right fingertips behind you on your seat or on the floor. With an inhale, you sit up nice and tall, and exhale, twist, leading with the chest, maybe taking the gaze back. For standing, we can do basically the same thing. We want our feet about hip distance apart, take the left hand over towards the left hip, and then we take the right hand and we circle it behind, maybe to the lower back, maybe to the outside of the hip. It depends sort of on what feels best for you, but inhaling nice and tall, exhaling, we twist. And you'll notice there's a lot of core engagement involved here. We're really using the torso to carry us through this movement instead of the arms really cranking us around. As you inhale, think about sitting taller, standing taller, and exhaling, maybe getting a little deeper into the twist, but not forcing anything here. We'll take one more inhale here, and then as we exhale, hold the twist, but we'll take the gaze to the front, so we bring our chin towards our left shoulder, and gently bow the chin down, getting a nice stretch in behind the back right side of the neck, maybe even behind that right shoulder blade. We'll take one more deep breath in here. And exhale, unwind. Pause for a moment, just notice how it feels. Take a nice deep breath in. Maybe sigh it out. And then we'll go and twist the other way. So we'll take the right hand to the outer left leg, maybe the hip if you're standing. And then we take those left fingertips behind us on the floor or our seat, or maybe to the lower back or the outside of the left hip. With an inhale, we're nice and tall, and exhale, we're twisting, engaging the core, really moving from the heart, moving from the chest taking the gaze back as far as feels good to you. 
and breathe in, trying to keep that really expansive, joyful breath, even with a bit of effort in the posture. We'll take one more deep breath in here. And then as we exhale, we hold the twist, but we take the gaze to the front towards that right shoulder and gently bow the chin down, getting that nice stretch on the other side. And it might feel quite different from one side to the other. I know the stretch feels a lot more subtle for me on this side and a lot more intense on the other side. We'll take one more inhale and exhale. We'll unravel and come back to our center position. From here, we'll take a nice big breath in, reaching the arms straight out to the sides. And then exhaling, we bring the right arm under the left, giving ourselves a big hug for a moment. And you can pause here, genuinely give yourself a hug for all the hard work you've put in this term. Maybe take a moment, feel grateful for everything that's really worked out in the past little bit. And then from here, there are a few options. You're welcome to stay here with your hands resting towards your shoulders, or maybe you can swing the backs of your forearms together to touch. And this isn't for everybody. We're really getting a stretch in behind the shoulders here. Maybe, if you're familiar, you can take the full bind, eagle arms wrapping the palms to touch. This can be quite challenging, so please don't feel the need to force it. You can keep the backs of the hands together or simply give yourself a hug. Wherever you are, we'll take the elbows away from us. And with an inhale, we lift the chest, lift the elbows. Doesn't need to be dramatic, it can be very slight. And exhale, we round it back, almost like a cat-cow movement here. So you can do this at your own pace. We'll take a few, inhaling, reaching up, and exhaling, rounding back. Inviting that nice, beautiful stretch in behind the shoulders. Introducing some movement through the spine. Take one more of each. And when you come down to the bottom, we'll unravel and roll back up to our nice neutral position. Now, you might feel the need, you might wanna roll your shoulders, totally welcome. And then on an inhale, we reach the arms wide to do the same on the other side. So this time we wrap the left arm under the right, start by giving yourself a big hug. And then whichever option feels best to you, you can keep your hands here, maybe bring the backs of the forearms to touch maybe wrapping the palms all the way around. Again, this really looks different for different people. Different people need different things, so take whichever option suits you. And then with a big inhale, we take the elbows away from us. We lift up through the chest and exhale, we round it back. So again, move at your own pace here, syncing up the movement with that big expansive breath Exhaling as we round and inhaling as we lift it up. We'll take one more of each. And at the bottom, unravel and roll up through the spine. Any movements you'd like to take here, rolling the shoulders, Maybe even shaking out the wrists a little bit. We can roll them one way and the other. We've been doing a lot of work through the arms, but maybe giving the wrists a little bit of love can be useful here. And then maybe even we start to get into the ankles. So we'll be working into the legs shortly. So maybe if you're seated, you want to grab onto the back of your leg, you can start to roll your ankle a little bit. If you're standing, you can always just pick up the leg a little, roll one way or the other with that ankle and switch. There's no formal movement here, no right or wrong way, just getting some energy down into the legs. We've probably been sitting for a while if we've been studying, if we've been attending any lectures, nice to get some movement down into the legs. And then if you're seated, 
we'll be making our way up to standing. And if you're in standing, I invite you to join us in our chair pose to get there. So when you feel ready, we can take our feet about hip distance apart, our knees are right over our ankles. And then we're going to lift ourselves out of our seat to hover above that chair. So we can reach the arms out at shoulder height here, reaching nice and long. You can also imagine if you wanted to take the arms a little wider that you're holding a great big beach ball. Now from here, if you wanna get a little extra spicy with this, get some extra movement into the legs. As we did last week, you can experiment by lifting onto the toes and lowering down. We'll do that three times. This is two for three, lower the heels and we'll make our way all the way up. Wonderful. Move the chair off to the side. We can keep it as a bit of support for balance if we need it later on. But we'll start by coming to our nice mountain pose. Feet are about hip distance apart, shoulders back. Reaching the hands down towards the floor, reaching up through the crown of the head. Again, find that nice, big, joyful breath. Maybe sighing it out here. And then inhaling, reaching the arms wide to come all the way up. Reach up as high as you can. And exhale, we're going to fold forwards, bending the knees as much as you like here. This might be the biggest hamstring stretch we've done all day. You can pedal out the knees a little bit, nice and gently. Stretching into the backs of the legs, the whole posterior chain. Just observing what you're feeling and inviting any of those tight places to let go and soften with each big breath in and out. We'll take one more deep breath in. And then exhaling, we're going to roll our way up one vertebra at a time. Shoulders rolling up before the head lifts. Wonderful. We'll take a big breath and reach the arms out wide to come up one more time. And exhale, fold forwards one more time. This time holding on to opposite elbows and allowing the body to soften and ragdoll forwards. So we're still getting a nice stretch through the backs of the legs, but now we're also inviting the upper back, the shoulders, and the neck to really let go, lengthen, and find space. You can sway a little from one side to the other. Breathing into the back body. Coming back to center, we'll release the arms. And again, slowly roll our way all the way back up to standing. We'll take a nice big breath in, reach the arms up, catch a hold of one wrist, doesn't matter which one, and we'll arc to the side. Take a breath in. Exhale, come on up. We'll switch sides. Nice, smooth transition. Big breath in. And exhale, we'll circle the arms around and down. So in our goal of really finding some brightness, some joy, and some space today, we're going to get a little playful with this next movement. So I'm going to invite us to jump into a star shape. So it'll look something like this, almost like a jumping jack. You just jump out into your star. If jumping isn't for you today, you can take a great big step in either direction and reach the arms out nice and wide. It might feel a little silly. I encourage you to smile and to laugh as we do this. That is the point of this practice. It's to find that joy, that brightness today, something to celebrate. We'll start from our mountain pose. Take a nice deep breath in. Maybe sigh it out. And then when you're ready, we're going to explode into a star. <laughs> Really reach nice and wide with the fingers. Take up a lot of space. Feel your whole body just expanding as you inhale. And then as you exhale, we'll jump back to our mountain pose. Coming back. Nice. We'll take a breath here. 
And then when you're ready, we're gonna do that one more time. We'll take a nice big jump, come into our star, take up lots of space, you are awesome. And then we'll take a little arc from side to side here. So we'll reach one arm up. You can let the other hand come down to your leg. Maybe you wanna arc it over to the side if you wanna engage your core a little more. Inhale, we come back to center, reaching the arms wide. And exhale, arc to the other side. We'll do that one more time. So inhale, center. Exhale, we arc. Inhale, center. Exhale, arc. Inhale, center. Maybe take up space one more time. And then exhaling, we'll jump back to our mountain pose. <laughs> Nicely done. And we're gonna make our way back towards our seat. So if you have a chair, I encourage you, it's always my challenge to move through chair pose to come back to your chair. And if you're coming down to the floor, you can carefully lower yourself back down. If you're in chair pose, we'll hold for three, two, one, and lower down onto our seats. Awesome. So we'll show the legs and the hips just a little more love here before we totally wrap up today. We'll start by crossing that right ankle across the top of the left leg. And I'll show you the seated variation from the floor momentarily, but I have two options for you if you're practicing in a chair today. The first is to sit up nice and tall. This might feel like enough. Maybe you'd like to hinge forwards from the hips a little bit here, keeping the spine nice and long. Or if you'd like a little more stretch, you can reach the left arm up, bending that elbow, bringing a hand to the back of that elbow, or maybe if it's in your practice, you can clasp your hands behind your back, but that's not for everybody and lean forwards from here, getting a bit more space, a bit more stretch through that tricep, as well as through the hips. That can be quite intense, so I encourage you to maybe experiment with it, but don't push yourself if it's feeling too much today. And if you're doing this from the floor, you can straighten your left leg, cross your right ankle over your left thigh, and then bending that left knee, start to draw your hips in your, your feet in, your legs in towards you, and you'll need your hands on the floor for this to support you. So that arm variation may not work for you if you're seated on the floor today. Wherever you are, we'll take one more breath in, and then as we exhale, we'll slowly unravel, make our way back up, and we'll come to the stretch on the other side. So we'll cross that left ankle, over the right thigh, taking whichever option feels the best to you today. So maybe this is hinging from the hips or staying right where you are. Maybe we take that right arm up, bending at the elbow, maybe bringing the hand to the elbow or perhaps clasping the hands behind the back if that's accessible to you. You can also grab if you have um, a scarf or a sweater, you could hold on to that to give you a little extra space. And then from here, perhaps leaning forwards, and this gets into the tricep, it gets into the hip. This is also a great stretch to relieve some lower back tension as well. Often when the hip flexors are really tight, when the glutes are really tight, they kind of, they can pull on the, the lower back as well. Keep some brightness in the left foot. Take another deep breath in wherever you are. And exhaling, we'll slowly make our way back up. We'll unravel. And I invite you to come into one final shape, and this is a forward fold. If you're seated on the floor, you can extend your legs out in front of you, maybe a slight bend in your knees, not straining to reach for your toes, just allow yourself to soften over your legs. And if you're seated in a chair, have some caution if you're in a rolly chair like me so you don't end up sending the chair flying behind you. You can extend your legs slightly in front of you and then gently allow yourself to soften and round forwards over your legs, letting your arms grow soft. And take a couple of deep breaths into your lower back. Feel that expansiveness of the breath 
in all sides of the body. The lungs don't expand just towards the chest, they expand in all directions. We'll take one more deep breath in here. And then exhaling wherever you are, slowly you can roll your way up. The shoulders rolling up before the head lifts. And make your way into a comfortable seat. This can be any seat that makes sense to you today. Maybe sitting cross-legged on the floor, seated in a chair. Or if you really have the space for this and you're uh, in a location that allows, you're welcome as well to set up for Shavasana. You can lie flat on the floor, traditional resting posture in many yoga classes. And wherever you are, you can lengthen through the spine and maybe gently relax the gaze or close the eyes. And take a moment to tune in. Observing how your body is feeling. Observing how your breath is moving. And noticing your current state of mind. Notice how you feel as a whole right now compared to how you felt at the very beginning. No judgment. And as we close our practice today, I invite you to bring your attention back to that point of joy that we found at the start of the practice. Remember what it was that already brought you some joy today. Lifting the corners of the mouth. We'll take a deep breath in, breathing in that joy, that celebration for today. And exhaling, perhaps bringing the hands to center and bowing the chin forwards in gratitude for this joy, for this day, for this movement, this mindful movement practice that we have taken together in the middle of our day. We'll slowly open up our eyes. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you next time.